after bidding their families goodbye early in the morning of June 24th, 1844, Joseph, Hiram, John Taylor, William W. Phelps, and other members of the Nauvoo City Council left on horseback for Carthage to answer to the charges of rioting that resulted from the destruction of the Nauvoo Expositor. They were accompanied by Willard Richards and a number of other friends. After they arrived at Carthage, Joseph and Hiram were charged with treason for having declared martial law in Nauvoo when the city was threatened with attack. On the afternoon of June 27th, 1844, Joseph, Hiram, John Taylor, and Willard Richards were the only brethren left in the sweltering heat of Carthage jail. Joseph asked his close friend, Apostle John Taylor, to sing a poor wayfaring man of grief, a hymn that was dear to his heart. A poor wayfaring man of grief hath often crossed me on my way, who suits so humbly for relief that I could never answer nay. I had not the power to ask his name where to he went or whence he came. But there was something in his eye that won my love. I know. 